What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, today, we're gonna be tackling uh, this area, this area where the dinette was. Um, there's typically two benches mounted. Um, this one against the wall we've moved temporarily, but it is the sliding bench that I made and I'll put a link uh, up in the corner for that one if you're interested. It worked really well. But um, we've seen some people that put, have put a futon in this area and uh, kind of opened this whole, this whole living space up in the front. So uh, I got to clean all this stuff out. The big box is our new futon. I just slid it in here. Um, I started taking all of our stuff that we had in storage out in there. Uh, as you can see, my electrical panel's there. I'm just going to take it and scoot it back into this wall. And I believe we're going to try to cut down the end of this wall. So um, this whole area is opened up. This is kind of what we're gonna focus on, moving all this stuff around, uh, making this whole area a little more open. And we're gonna get tackling this, so follow us along, thanks. So before we start, I have started taking this bench part um, in the little preview, uh, my little intro. The bench was that way, I kind of just scooted it back. So this is what the original configuration is. Um, like I said, I already started taking this bench apart because I had to pull that front panel off and get to my screws and get to the back panel and all that stuff. So um, that's why some of this looks like it may just fall apart. Um, but like I said, I've already disassembled this. So I'm just going to kind of do a quick take apart of this. It's going to only going to be a couple minutes probably of me taking all this apart. And then I'm going to have to move that electrical panel back. So I'm gonna have to be in here, be in the bunk, and kind of pulling wires that way, and cutting a new hole for the electrical panel. But other than that, we're gonna get going, and uh, hope you enjoy. So at this point, I'm gonna go shut the power off. I'm gonna unplug it from the house. I'm gonna disconnect my battery. Um, that way, none of this has power. It's gonna be hot in here for, it's like 90 degrees outside with 85% humidity today. That's why I'm inside working on the camper. But I'm gonna go kill the power. That way I don't mess any of this stuff up. Um, I'm at least gonna get this panel out of this wall. After that, I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. Probably just cut a hole and then slide everything back in. That way the panel's in there. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go kill the power. That way I can move all this. All right, so I've got everything sitting out here. Um, that wasn't nearly as difficult as I thought it was gonna be. I just gotta get a bigger hole cut that's gonna match this uh, box so I, can, so I can push it in there and um, get my electrical put, put back in that wall. I'm just gonna take this measurement and make it square like this one isn't. And once I do that, I'll just push all the wires back in there. Um, there's an opening in the back of this bunk. As you can see, I've got it hinged. Let me get a light on. So I've got this part hinged, but all of this area, is this a loose? Oh yeah, there you go, look at that, it's loose already. So all of that area, I can still um, bring my wires in here and uh, remount all that stuff that needs mounted. Um, I need to probably block this area off so it's just for the cord and then it's not getting tangled up with all the actual wiring. And then I'm gonna actually gain probably, I don't know, two foot of, of electrical cord too, which would be kind of nice. Um, every little inch on that helps for sure so uh that's the next step so we're gonna try to cut this wall down so i'm gonna pull um 
this side of the panel off so I can see what I'm working with inside there as far as structure. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot to this wall. What I'm gonna do is just take one of these out as carefully as I can. I'll probably uh, use my little uh, multi-tool cutter and cut those staples out of one of these and just scoot it over right here at the edge of the bed. Reattach everything, cut the floor or cut it at the floor. Before I even cut anything off, I'll just put that in there and then I can run my tool right down that board. And I would suggest anytime you're doing a, a taking panels out or whatever, save this material because it seems to be kind of hard to find. Uh, it's, oops. Definitely not something that um, they carry at the hardware store at Walmart or uh, Lowe's or uh, anywhere that I can find. I think it's kind of a manufacturer only uh, deal. So I always try to keep even the smallest of pieces because you never know where you're going to have to patch in or, or whatever. The rest of this is awesome.
Okay, so here's the finished product of this area. Um, like I said, I wrapped uh, the wheel well, and then um, I used this plastic corner beading like they have um, on the cabinets or on the uh, benches around the edges. I just used it and did the edge of that. And then I've got some trim uh, left over from this other, from some of this other stuff that I'm gonna run in the corners. I'm not too concerned about it right now, um, but that that is the finished product. Um, like I said, this was out 13 inches is what I cut off. So um, there's a lot more room just right here. This I'm gonna have to address. Like I said, I think I'm gonna box box in from here back just for the cord it'll be just a box it there won't be going everywhere um, I need to slide my cord out some more and then I'll have to redo all this I'll probably um, box it off somewhere back here and then cover it but still be able to access some of that storage under there um, not super keen about putting that back in there but it is what it is um, this looks a lot better a lot bigger um, hopefully a lot more usable so I'm gonna start I'm gonna get all this stuff out of the way and start putting that futon together okay so we got this uh, futon from Walmart um, it's got storage underneath so we didn't lose much storage the only concern I have is is this back corner getting into uh, the wheel well. That's my only concern of this whole thing. Uh, it's way smaller than our total opening from wall to bed, and it's not very deep either. <clears throat> I will have a link. Uh, it'll be a Walmart link. Typically, all our stuff comes from Amazon. Um, this is the only one I could find that was this small. Um, that still had some storage so um, I'm not gonna bore anybody with me putting this together because it's like putting Ikea furniture together I'm sure uh, this one does have uh, down here you can see it's got USB and an outlet <coughs> I do not have any outlets in this area some people have it under the dinette um, I do not I'm gonna have to figure that out. I would love to have an outlet somewhere um, in this realm, it, which can't be that hard because my outlet or my power is right there, so I can keep it in that wall. Um, and I may put two, one up high. That way I can plug. Um, we hang a fan on the end of this cabinet. I can plug it in right here. I don't have to run cords around. So, um, like I said, I'm not gonna bore anybody with me putting this together. <clears throat> I'm not even going to do a fast time lapse thing. It's going to be like this. And just like that, there's our futon. Um, I am going to have to trim this one down. I've just got the face panel sitting in there right now. I'm going to trim down about five inches uh, for it to fit back like it's supposed to. This one on this side is fully assembled. Um, it came with these. It came with rollers on the bottom, which is nice. I thought I was going to have to put some of them um, little skid pads on there, but uh, it goes right in there. I am going to have to figure out how to keep them in place uh, as we drive, but um, it shouldn't be that hard. I'll probably do some sort of bungee around the leg. Um, thanks to everybody who has um, done this upgrade in theirs. Uh, I'd shout out to you but I really there's been so many people who have done this and really kind of was like yeah we need to do that too um, other people have cut down the wall but thank you guys for the inspiration um, it's made a huge difference already we haven't even used it but I can see where this is going to be so much better alright so this is it all done um, I had to put a small extension on all these other legs um, just to keep it the whole thing level um, which actually kind of helped 
so now there's a handhold to be able to pull the drawers out. I think the best way to store these or to keep these in place whenever we're traveling is just to move them um, and then set them on the bed. But as far as the futon goes, um, it's it's like an old beach chair, you know, where you got to pull it forward and it clicks and then it falls down and all that stuff. But that's it for that. It's pretty simple. And the way I've kept this in place is this little strap back here and it's actually an anti-tip tv strap um they're fully adjustable this thing's like two foot long to start with but all i did was find a stud on the wall and then just brought it straight um over to the futon and i've made it to where whenever it's folded down like that that's how we're going to transport it um it can't go any farther out because the straps are limiting it and it can't push in because the sofa itself won't let it push in but when you fold it up you can scoot it all the way back against the wall and then the drawers go with it so that's that guys thanks for following us along on this one a uh, huge improvement to the living space out here uh, if you like it, make sure you hit the thumbs up so we know what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, follow us along on all our adventures, uh, upgrades, campgrounds, just fun stuff we do. So, uh, again, thanks a lot, and we'll see you on the next one.